Well, hey gang, hopefully the gang's all here. Good evening. We have got some interesting stuff to talk about. We really do. Um, first and foremost, um, the, the, what I had intended to talk about was going to be strictly <clears throat> frickin' helicopters every time. I gotta live this close to the Navy base. Um, I had borrowed this from Elliot Williamson. And this is what this video is about. This is 100% what this video is about. We're gonna talk about something else when we do it too. This I borrowed from Elliot Williamson. This is one of Elliot's all-time favorite knives. And I had sharpened it one time for him for his birthday. I didn't have any money, um, which is a running theme with me. I didn't have any money, so I decided I wanted to do something for Elliot just for all the things that he's done for me um, on his birthday last year. And so I had a bunch of their knives at the house. And so when I took those knives to the house to sharpen, I stole Elliot's Les George BECP, which is the mid-tech version of his rock eye folder. Um, now, Les George is a knife maker who is, uh, he was a Marine. Uh, from everything I understand, he was a uh, EOD um, and uh, was, is a knife maker. And Elliot has got a severe man crush on Les George. Elliot loves the rock eye folder. Well, the VECP stands for Value Engineering Something Proposal. Value Engineering cost saving proposal, I think is what it stands for. VECP, value engineering, critical proposal, something like that. Anyway, it's called the VECP. Hi hey guys, I'm a freaking idiot. It stands for value engineering change proposal. Freaking idiot. And uh, I've carried this exclusively since Friday last week. And I'm not gonna lie to you. I see why Elliot loves this knife. Um, this is, an all-around amazing knife. Titanium scales, frame lock, the pocket clip's amazing. It is it is pretty much a bare bones, plain Jane looking knife, but it is one of those ones that's, you know, elegant simplicity. It is an XHP blade, but um, Elliot did tell me that they get their blades heat, uh, that Les gets his, uh, blades heat treated the same place Elliot gets their blades heat treated so when um, I sharpened this for Elliot it got ridiculous sharp it's still ridiculous sharp uh, this is a lot like the XHP that I did on um, a knife knife long for a guy um, cold steels XHP it's awesome May, they might all be getting it done at the same place really smooth really smooth action on this knife this is one of those knives that if I had not picked it up at Elliot's, I wouldn't even thought about it. I really, if it hadn't come in, if one of them hadn't come in, I probably wouldn't have ever picked one up. Um, this is an awesome knife. Blade design. It's uh, a drop point, uh, which is a lot like a lot of knives that fall in the wheelhouse of things that I like. But it's a little creature comforts on it. Like the pocket clip, kind of, it just disappears in your hand. It really does. And if you look pocket clip on this is almost identical to the pocket clip that's on my Fortis, which is another thing I love about my Fortis. Pocket clip just disappears in your hand. You can't even feel it. You can, it's there, but you really can't feel it. The, the way it's chamfered, this little cutout here for your finger, when you get a hold of it, it just melts in your hand. It is, it's like it is meant to be there. Um, Every little nuance about the way it was shaped and formed in your hand is perfect. Jimping is there, but it's not over the top. It's not too sharp, but it's just enough that you can get some purchase on it. You can get up here and and have a little a little thumb ramp to pull back on for, for work. Um, the flip side of it, it is not over the top and ostentatious. It's a single sided pivot. Got a milled out Les George mark on it. The blade thins nicely. It is, 
kind of a thick blade, but you can thin it out nice because it's XHP. The thumb stud is screwed on. It's not press fit or interference fit. So you can take that thumb stud off if you want to, uh, you know, if you want to take it out and clean it. Um, Torx hardware, single side. That screw goes all the way through as opposed to having hardware on each side. I mean, the cutout for the lock bar is unique. I've only seen a few knives that look like that. I mean, it's amazing. It does, And it's not bearings, it's washers. So this one runs on washers, not bearings, as far as I can tell. I'm looking in there, I don't see any bearings. That's definitely on washers. Um, and if I read correctly, I'm not sure about this one. A lot of the Les George knives, like the Eagle and things like that, they run on Teflon washers. Now, I'm not 100% opposed to Teflon washers. Nylon washers are horrible. Teflon washers, uh, if I got that backwards, the Nylatron washers, those are the ones that are amazing. But at any rate, the washers that are in this, really, this knife is really smooth. Um, I sharpened this for Elliot, and uh, he was like, Mike, I really appreciate it, but he's like, I'm fucking afraid of my Les George. He's like, I love that knife. Now I'm afraid of it. It is it is really sharp. So I'm going to turn the camera around, and we'll get some, some shots of this. I'll drop the camera down, and we'll get some shots of it. But yeah, I just wanted to talk about that. And then we got something else to talk about after that. So yeah, hang on a second, guys. Let me get this turned around. Move, Move my protective coating that I put on knives. So yeah, let's let's get a good close-up on this. This is, I mean, nice stone wash. I mean, it's not, it's a hefty knife, but it's not too heavy. Blade on it is just gorgeous. I mean, there's, there's I mean, I don't, I don't know what else to say. It's just, it's an amazing knife. I Elliot kept telling me how much he loved this knife, and I just, I just, I couldn't, I didn't see it. You know, it just wasn't there for me. And and then I would, I would see it there on the desk in the shop, and I'd pick it up and I'd look at it, and then so I picked it up. And I took it home this over this last week now. So it, today's today's Wednesday. So basically, I've had it for better part of a week and now I've been carrying it and I was like oh no now I get it I, I really I get it everything about it is just about perfect it really is so detent on it is just right lock up is just right not too early not too late there's no blade play, none, in any direction. Nice, smooth, hydraulic feel like you'd expect from like a Sabenza. But, but actually, it's, it's got that hydraulic feel like a Sabenza, but it's more like a really broken in Sabenza. You know what I mean? Like one that's, that's been open and closed for years. So you still have that hydraulic feel, but it's just like a loose, broken Sabenza. So, yeah, I just wanted to get you guys in on it close so you could see. It's gorgeous, but like I said, see, it's single, single screw, screw construction. And like I said, that, that pocket clip is just, it's just perfect. When you've got it in your hand, there's no hot spots on that knife at all. Zero hot spots. Thumb healed up real well. <laughs> I got a hole. I have a low spot now that the, all the scar tissue broke down. So I'm gonna get this turned around. We'll talk some more about something else. Hi guys, back on this side of the camera. Um, yeah, just wanted to throw something out. Um, I got an email at the shop. I think I told you guys about it. I had a guy ask me if I wanted a box of knives. And I, you know, I was like, okay. He said, and I've been an avid knife collector for years. Um, 
and he asked if I wanted to, him to send me a box of knives. And I was, you know, I said, yeah, sure, that's that's fine. If you if you really want to, don't, you know, you don't have to. I didn't want him to feel obligated, you know. But it seemed like it was something he wanted to do, and I was, I was cool with it because it sounded like a deal. He said, hey, whatever you want to do with it, you know, whatever. I'm sending it to you. You can you can sell them. You can raffle them. He's like, you know, financially you need help with some stuff and with the channel. And I was like, wow, that's pretty awesome. And I was kind of expecting, you know, like. Like a couple knives, a couple knives. Guys, we have an anonymous benefactor. So the first thing I see when I open this box is I was like, holy crap, I wasn't expecting this. The box came and the box was this big and it's heavy. It's not a light box. So hang on a second. Hang on just a second. I gotta, I gotta take care of the postman. I'm expecting a package of knives from a customer and I thought I heard the postman come. So the first the first thing I see when I open the box though is I was like, holy, holy crap. I see this and I'm like, wow, that's a gorgeous handle. And I turn it around and I see Bark River Knives and I was like, wait a second. These aren't just like your run of the mill, like crap swap meat knives that this guy has put together and just thrown in a box. This is a Bark River first production run. We'll get into it. It's a vengeful or vengeance, I think. I, I would have to go back and, and look again. Um, it's in CPM3B. It's a massive chopper in a huge sheath. It's the, it's a, it's a, a, a freaking crocodile Dundee knife. He sends me this. And I get the dig. And the next things that pop out are two Perkin custom folders. Both of them in Damascus. Two custom Perkin folders in Damascus with I I I'm gonna have to look and see and, and, and do some research and find out from what the handle material and stuff is on these. Um they're both really nice folders, nice sheaths and, and stuff like that. I mean I think that's really don't know. One of them's a lock back. One, one's, one's a liner lock. One does not lock. One's just a, a, a slip joint. I mean, there's, custom, there's four custom knives. My daughter basically laid claim to this one. There was an Uzi bolt action pin. This is a really nice small little custom hunting knife. There's spider codes and ZTs and I'm like holy crap this is um there's Wii knives and there's a a Browse T4 that doesn't look like it's ever been out of the box. So we have stuff to talk about on the channel. We have a a Crook River that's I don't think it's ever even been in a pocket. There's a, a Benchmade Crook River. Um, so this stuff is all in here, but what I want to talk about, on the exact opposite side of the spectrum of all the other knives that I carry that are, are off the wall, crazy expensive stuff, I mean, on the, on the opposite side of the spectrum of this, in the box, because we're gonna throw this in on with this, was an Ontario Knives Model 1 in D2 steel. They've, they've been around a while. I love these and had forgotten about them, had one for a while, lost it. I love these knives. They're like 40 bucks. This is a $40 folder with a, with a liner lock. I do know that I say I don't like liner locks, but I mean, they're not bad. This is a good all around work knife. I haven't seen one of these since the one that I lost. I don't even remember where I'm, but you know, a $40 knife, you lose one, that's ah, a $40 knife. And now, I have another Model 1 Ontario knife. And I mean, yeah, it's a, it's a made in Taiwan, but it's D2 tool steel. They get really sharp, they stay sharp, they're easy to sharpen, they take an edge. And what I was going to, the point I was getting around to and, and making was this knife what I was gonna get to this 
$40 has got a better apex edge than this extremely expensive S30V Benchmade Crook River. Way better. I don't, I don't, <laughs> you guys are going to keep hearing me complain about that. I would take this knife over this knife any day of the week. So, just, I wanted to just say, you know, to my benefactor, our benefactor who's out there, thank you very much. This, this was way more than I was expecting when I said yes to, to sending a package to me. Uh, when, when, when I said, yeah, send me the package, that's fine. Uh, as long as you're cool with it. I was never expecting this. In no way, shape, or form. You know, Ky Carbon Fiber Spider Co. Um, Spider Co. Yojimbo. These are, these are not, these are not like dime store <laughs> swap me gas station knives. These are very nice knives. These are knives that I would buy for myself. So, yeah, there's probably going to be some of these knives that go up for sale on the channel to buy things for the channel um, and things like that. So keep your eye out on the channel. Keep your eye out on Instagram. We might do some fun stuff, do some, some uh, YouTube giveaways, some channel giveaways, some sales and things like that. So, hey, guys, this is going to help the channel. But we are going to do a video about every one of these except one. There is a Chinese clone of a Zeba um, in here. Uh, I looked into it. I couldn't sleep last night. There is a front flipper Z Zeba ZDP 189 in here. It's a clone. I won't sell it. Um, it is a nice little knife. Um, it needs some work on it, but it uh, it um, it is a clone. We verified it. Um, this morning, as a matter of fact, I had to stop in Claremont, so I stopped by Elliot's, and he did verify with me that yes, this is a a clone. Uh, we found it on AliExpress, so this is not the five hundred dollar Zeba. But then again, it was probably Zeba's probably making his knives in China, and this was probably just one that got dropped and had a minor issue, and they're like, you can sell it on AliExpress for hundred dollars. So. Hey guys, that's the video. Yeah, keep an eye out. These videos, this is going to, this is a lot of content. The flip side of it is I have a box of 17 knives coming that all have to be sharpened. I have four blanks, four blanks for my neck knives that are available. Well, let's make that three because I had someone reach out to me earlier saying they want one. Um, so we're going to go ahead and say three. Uh, I'm waiting on a text from that individual so if he reaches out to me and texts me it is going to go to him um, so there are four of those neck knives I'm gonna put an image in of the last one I made a, vi a quick uh, clip video clip of the last one I made I've been doing some stuff with some two-tone ceramic coatings um, so basically here's the pricing structure Bare metal is 130 because now I have to pay for sheaths, which means I'm paying shipping to Florida and back. So I have to pay for the sheath. Um, so I've had to raise the price. I did tell you guys it's going to so bare metal is 130. Uh, 150 will get you a ceramic coating, one color. If you want two colors or a pattern, that's 170. But trust me, if you're getting two colors and a, and a pattern or something like that, I'm going to do something crazy, and you can kind of see it. Trust me that they come out awesome. Um, the one you're about to see is going to England and then um, so stand by for that and then I'll see you right after that clip All right guys, so this basically is a two-tone um, Ceramic I did two layers of ceramic uh, It's a lot of work, so I'm not really charging that much So I have to do an underlay color and then an, uh, a secondary color But you can see it comes out pretty well some of the colors don't work well together But you know get in touch with me. We can work at something out Look at all those knives. It is a mess. I mean, I don't think you guys realize how much content we now have moving forward. I mean, there's right knives, there's 
CRKTs, there's Krauss, there's custom folders. There's, the man sent me so much stuff. So, there's, there's knives everywhere now at my house. My wife's upset with me. All right, guys. Like and subscribe. If you like my videos, please do like. If you have not subscribed, up here on my above my shoulder there's going to be a little bubble with a picture of me and my daughter please do subscribe if you really like my videos um they're all my patreon is always down below you can always subscribe to my patreon i'm not you know i'm not asking you to but if you want to that's fine and up here there's going to be a video that youtube thinks you might like so might be one of mine might be somebody else's all right guys take it easy and i will see you next time